These are the new headers. Doug's 313, they're for a 68 Camaro with a big block, which is what I have. Hoping they'll fit correctly. This is what comes in the box. And I wish it came with more stuff because it was about $900 normal price. I got them on sale for $800. Got a sticker, which is great. Instructions, which are probably good. I don't know. Gaskets, bolt stuff, collectors that I can't use because they're two and a half. I'm doing three inch exhaust. Comes with these spacers. We'll see what the instructions say about them. And collector gaskets. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these headers out. So I've got the car on the ground right now. I'm just going to take the bolts. Excuse me. Take the bolts out. Then I'll probably jack the car up and uh, work them out of here. So anyway, let's get started and see if I can get this done. That's why I like this Camaro so much. Look at that. I just pulled it out the top, man. How do you make cars? Can you do that with my Oldsmobile? This Oldsmobile, you have to jack the engine up. This car's like two feet longer and wider by like six inches. But yet this car, I can just pull the freaking header out the top and it's a big block. It's crazy. started on this thing it came out real easy so I'm hoping it'll go in the same well that went in super super easy now before I put this in I did scrape off the gasket surface make sure there was nothing on it and uh, clean it with brake cleaner on a rag now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the gaskets I'm gonna put some of this ultra copper RTV gasket maker stuff, just a little bit, not a whole ton around the surfaces here of the gasket. I've already checked the gaskets. They seem to be in good shape. They can get damaged in shipping. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna put just a little bit around these ports. I did that on my cut list because they recommended I do it, Doug's did. So I'm gonna do it on this one again and we'll see how it works out. It's all evenly tightened down. They aren't super tight. I'm going to come back and retorque them in a little bit when that silicone hardens. So anyway, I hope you liked that install video. Hope you like the way they sound. They're doing great so far. No leaks, at least as of yet. Uh, now, over, after about 500 or so miles, I'm going to retorque these as they recommend. But you should always recheck your header gaskets. They always kind of clinch up over time. So, see you in the next video. Thanks.